Alrighty, hello. I'm wearing the same outfit as I was yesterday and the day before and the day before. Um, okay, so what do I have for today? I have, um, you know, what I was thinking about was how um, the situations that we are in as people um, seem to be much more significantly magnified um, to ourselves and ourselves alone. <clears throat> so for example, um, my, my tire, I had a screw go through my tire and I was just kind of thinking about how, oh, this is kind of a big deal. This sucks. I got to change my tire and I got to fix all this stuff and I got to call the, you know, discount tire and I got to figure all this crap out. Um, and then when I mentioned it to someone else or anybody else, um, they're just kind of like, yeah, okay, you got a flat. Like, you just gotta change the tire, it's fine. Um, and part of that is because, like, it's not their problem, it's not, not their situation, and they don't have to worry about it, and so doesn't, they don't have to invest any time in it, they're not worried about it. Um, but part of that is because it's just a tire. It doesn't actually really, it's not that big of a deal, I just gotta change a flat, you know? Um, and so I think that the, while that was kind of a very small scale lesson, um, I think that it can be applied to many other things in life because everything that you go through just seems so much more significant and magnified to yourself um, and it stops there like it, like it's just you. Um, when you when you hear someone talk about something else like, like anybody else's stories um, you come at it with a different perspective and a different um, different viewpoint and it's a different experience you know. Um, because it, it might feel scary to you and it might feel like this massive thing like the sky's gonna fall and the world's gonna explode. But really, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and it's kind of hard to see that in the moment, but I think that you know, after the fact, sometimes you're kind of like, oh yeah, that wasn't even really that crazy, that hard to handle or whatever whatever you're thinking, you know? Um, but in hindsight, it's almost always like, yeah, dude, that, why, why are you even stressing about that? Like, why even freak out about that small little thing. Um, I think that we kind of tend to spend too much time and energy, potentially, on worrying and being concerned about something when really, if you just kind of go after it, um, I think that you might discover it's really not that big of a deal. So that was the first thing, um, is we magnify our own situations and it seems scarier than it really maybe is. Um, that was the first thing. Next thing I have, oh, so I have start being too school for cool. You know, I was thinking about how, how many people go into school and try to be cool instead of actually do the schoolwork. Um, I, I know way more people than not that go into school and their intention and their goal and their mission is to um, stick out as a cool kid or, or, or just have fun and party and and be part of the cool kids scene and, and just do all these things that they think college people do um, which oftentimes is not the right thing to do um, I think that we all watch these movies like American Pie or Blue Mountain State or whatever and we get these ideas on what college is supposed to be like and then we show up and we have these expectations and we try to pursue those expectations and we try to follow through with what we think that college will you know was supposed to be or is supposed to be um and i don't think that's very smart because number one all of the college movies that you have seen are exactly that they're movies they're from hollywood it's meant to entertain you um if you were to watch a a real life documentary on a college student while yes they'd be busy it probably wouldn't be the entertaining. They're not going to be going to all these crazy parties and they're not going to be... If, if they're an actual... If they're trying to... Uh, if they're a student who's trying to gain something from being in college. Uh, I'm talking about a, a student. I'm not talking about people that party and do all that stuff. Um, I think the people, <clears throat> people too often, far too often, try to be the cool kid and not... You know, too cool for school and not too school for cool. That sounds kind of corny and cheesy, um, but I think that you know, I think that's a good point. Like, if I were, all I know is that um, if I were to go back into school, um, my my intent would be so different than what it what it used to be. Um, now, number one, college is so expensive. You know, if you're going to go to college, to me, 
it should be for a really clear reason. Um, and I think that very few people have a, have that reason. They just kind of go to college. Um, I think that's pretty cool when, when you find somebody who, who knows why they're in school and they're working for that reason. And there's a clear goal from where they are to where they want to be and where they want to go. Um, that's pretty cool to me. And that's kind of the way that I would approach college if I went back to college. Um, whether I do or not, I don't know. We'll see. It, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I think that there should be a clear reason. And I, I think that you, your goal should be, um, of course, again, there's a balance. Um, but I think that for the most part, your focus should be school and not should be on, on uh, doing schoolwork and not trying to be the cool kid. Um, because number one, if, well, there's a few things, I guess, but the first thing I'm thinking of was just, if you're trying to be the cool kid, chances are you're not trying to be yourself, you know? So I think that's important, maybe the most important thing to just be yourself. And if you happen to be a cool kid or whatever, then, you know, so be it. Okay. Um, but I think a lot of the cool kids who are trying to be cool and are in that group aren't themselves and aren't genuine, uh, which I think is dangerous and not worth it. Um, and then I think eventually in life they'll learn that lesson, uh, but try to see through that now. You know, why, why wait 30 years and be like, oh, why was I trying to be with those cool kids when I wasn't even myself? That wasn't even who I was. You know, I think that while, it could, while yes, it's gonna be hard to um, figure those things out now and, and kind of realize who you are now and, and seek those people, that's kind of a hard thing, you know? Because if you don't fit in with a certain group and you're like, oh, well, okay, who do I who do I hang out with? Like, who, do, who matches up with my personality? That's not easy. That's kind of a hard, scary thing, you know? Um, I think it's easier to put on a mask and um, be a cool kid and party. You know, that's, that's you're covering things up and you're, and you're hiding from your problems and you're hiding from reality. Um, so anyway, I think, I think it's, it, it's cooler, I think, to be too school for cool, as ironic and weird as that sounds. I think it's, it's, more, it's certainly more worth, worthwhile. Um, so that was the second thing that I had. Um, third thing, before you call something dumb, oh, learn more about it. So before you call something dumb, learn more about it. Um, I was watching this YouTube channel. This is a long time ago now. Um, this guy Wrangler star though, he, um, he was talking about how there was someone who was dogging on a certain tool cause they didn't know how to use it. They're like, this tool sucks. It's not worth anything. No one can use this tool. Like it's not, oh, I got something in my eye. Oh, um, and Oh God, I can't even think right now. Um, okay. And his point was though, the tool was, was stupid to him and it didn't seem like it was a worthwhile tool to be using because he didn't know how to use it. He didn't know how to operate that and use, just use that tool. Um, he didn't, he didn't know. And so of course it's not going to be a worthwhile, usable, functional tool. If you don't know how to use it, the guitar, for example, sounds terrible unless you know how to play it. Um, the piano sounds awful unless you know how to play it. It's a stupid, big, clunky, loud, heavy, bulky instrument, the, p the piano. Um, and it's, it's, you get my point. It's, you have to know how to use it to make it work. Um, I'm getting stuck in traffic right now. So, um, why was I thinking about that again? Let me, um, or... I, I'm trying to think about why I wrote that down. Hmm. I'm not too sure anymore. Um, I don't even, maybe there wasn't an actual reason. Maybe I was just thinking about um, that channel that I watched. So anyway, those are the three things I jotted down today. Um, so I guess I, those are my takeaways. Those are, that's what I learned today. Those, those are my little, uh, my little bullet points. So... Anyway, I think that's all I have for you. So, yeah, okay. We will see you tomorrow. Roger out.